to Vlogmas Day 4. Hope y'all are enjoying it so far. Um, was not Sarah's home just gorgeous? I love her style. I know a lot of y'all love her style. And y'all like for me to go and see how she's decorated it for the different seasons. And um, yeah, we just worked out where we had the time and it could, you know, we could do it. Y'all, please forgive this hair. I'm scheduled to get my hair done next week, so I need to cut, and I think it's just gonna touch up some of my color. So um, now I'm just in here kind of like editing a little bit. Ever since I cleared this room out, um, it's been really nice to be able to use it to sit in here. I have this like desk, and I can sit in here and I can edit and you know upload and make thumbnails and all that fun stuff, so it's really nice. Um, I'm killing time. So I can go see James. Buster and I are gonna go have lunch with James. And we're gonna hit a couple thrift stores on the way home because why not? And then um, we have a fun day planned. Um, Saturday, Delana and Tyler and Benson and James and myself and Buster, we're gonna be going to the Hank Aaron stadium to drive through and see all the Christmas lights and that's going to be really fun. So I'm excited about that. We'll probably get something to eat like on the way. I don't know, but I'm really excited about that. And then we have plans. We're, um, to go to the Jones park. I talked about in a previous vlog and we found out we cannot take our pets to Belling Graf gardens. So that's a bummer. But um, we still don't have a definite date that we're going to do that. And then Sarah and myself were talking about we're trying to set up the date and time. Let me shut that, that TV's on in there. The date and time um, to get together. I want to all them to come over and do some holiday baking and cooking and just have fun, fun times. So, a lot in the works. So, hopefully... With all of our schedules, it's hard when you're trying to get multiple families together to do to schedule things. But hopefully we can make it work out. So anyway, I'm gonna work on a little bit on some videos and um, I still got some tweaking to do on some that you would have already seen by now. And um, I gotta make a thumbnail and then I'm um, gonna head out. Let's see what time it is, yeah. By the time I get all that done, then we'll head out and go have lunch with James. So I will touch base with you in just a little bit. All right, y'all. Buster and I are headed to see Daddy. We're gonna grab some lunch, and then Buster and I is go we're going through shopping afterwards. So hopefully we can find us some things. Um, it's kind of warm today as cool as it's been. I want to say it's rained. I think it's rained. It looks like it's rained. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, it's still beautiful and it's going to be a good day. Got all the YouTube stuff that I just uploaded Sarah's home tour. So y'all have seen that by the time you see this. And, um, that done, thumbnail done, description box done. So, I had to do a little last minute editing to it. That's done. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Y'all seem to really love her decorating. So, now we're headed to Pascagoula to see Daddy. So, I will touch base with y'all in just a little bit. Two peas in a pod. James, watch your mouth. <laughs> Fat boy problems. <laughs> James, everybody's looking forward to your man version of the Christmas home tour. <laughs> we gotta get that done so we can get it up. You prepare what you gonna say? Yep. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna let him enjoy his lunch. And then Buster and I are headed home. He only has a short time. 
Mm -mm. Gotta take care of my little buddy. They just think it's so sweet the way you love Buster. They're like you. He's my partner. That you. They hmm? just love to see you loving on him. Mm -hmm. He's my little partner. Huh. Partner in crime. Yeah. What do you two conspire when I'm not around? Hmm. <laughs> All right. We just dropped Daddy off back to his job. And now Buster and I are headed home. I was gonna go to the thrift stores, but y'all just quite honestly, not feeling a hundred percent today. I don't know what it is. I just kind of feel yuck. My stomach's a little upset and um, it's not feeling it. So I think I'm gonna go home and just kind of like chill out. I do need to, I have some laundry that I need to do. I'm gonna do that and um, see if I can get over this because I don't want to feel like this because we have plans Saturday. Well, and I have stuff I have to do tomorrow, and then we have plans for Saturday. And uh, I don't have time to be sick, so I'm gonna go home and kind of nurse myself a little bit and do some laundry, just peel around the house, and maybe in the morning. So while James is kind of just waking up slow, I'll let him sleep in on his days off. Try not to plan anything in the mornings that requires him and just let him just sleep in um, and take it easy. So maybe while he's doing that, I can um, run to the thrift store and um, see what they got. Although I'm really itching to go today. Just, I just don't feel good. So, that's the plan for right now. You know, things can change. You never know. <laughs> you just never know. But y'all, Buster and his daddy, they are, they not the cutest thing. I'm telling you, they are just so stinking cute. And my neck is really bothering me on this side today, but I just put that bracelet on, so, last night. So I'm hoping it'll kind of relieve itself. Um, sorry, let's see. Anyway, I'll touch base with y'all just a little bit. So I'm driving home and um, I received a text message. And it was fine. Um, but the Lord reminded me. He reminded me of the blessings that he has given me and blessed me with. I want to encourage anyone who has been praying for something or several things. I mean, it could be more than one thing. I want to encourage you to keep the faith because God will answer your prayers, but it's not always on our time frame. Um, According to his will and his time and I'm just so humbled when things happen or he reminds me of things because if you think about it the God of this universe the God of all creation heard my prayer and not only did he hear it, he answered it. Now, the prayers that I have prayed, there's some that are unanswered. There's some that he's answered, maybe not in the way that I prayed, the way that I wanted, but it was answered and perfect, of course. Um, just be encouraged that he does hear you. And if you will keep the faith, He will work things out for your good. Your good. Now, that don't mean when he works things out for your good, don't mean it always works out or goes the way you think that it would be best. He knows all and he knows what's good and what's right. And he works things out for our good. 
but I just want, I just feel so led to just tell you that don't give up whatever it is that you're praying for, whatever situation or things that are going on in your life that you need answers from the Lord and you need help from Him. He hears you. He hears you. He is there for you. And He will answer your prayer eventually. Um, like I said, according to His time and His will. And uh, I'm just so humbled and just reminded I'm living I'm living my life now with answered prayers that I prayed years ago okay years ago and they did not get answered overnight but where I'm at now I can look back and see there was a process was a process and now I'm living my life with so many of those prayers answered he answered them and he did it in a way that was so much better than I ever thought possible um, maybe one day I can like get the okay from him to kind of share really what I'm talking about I'm just not there yet but just know no matter what you're going through he hears you he's there and just because he don't, doesn't move like when you think he should or how you think he should that does not mean that he's not working not working things out for your good so just be encouraged today keep the faith and uh there have been so many times that God has given me a sure word as I was praying um, for certain things. And I would just have to cling to that. I would just have to cling to his words. And I couldn't go by how I felt. I couldn't go by how it looked. I had to go by what he said. And when you get a word from God, you can bank on it, okay? And when you get a word from God, it don't matter what the enemy tries to throw at you. Uh, it don't matter what it looks like, what it feels like. When you've got a word from God, and you will know, okay? You will know when you got a true word from God. When you've got a word from God... You just have to live on it. You have to live on it. And there's been many times that I've been in situations and I would get a word from God. He don't always give you a word, okay? Sometimes you just got to live on faith. But there's been many times that he's given me a word and I would just have to cling to that word. And I'm going to tell you, his word that he gave me and the situation were total opposites at the time. But I would not look at the situation. I would not go by how I felt at that time. But I would cling to that word and know that it's going to work out exactly how it's supposed to work out according to his time and his will. That's what we have to understand. His will and his time don't always line up with our will and our time, okay? <laughs> um, and that has taken me a long time to understand that. I still have trouble with that sometimes. But I've seen enough, lived enough, experienced enough to know that his will and his time is always, always perfect. Not sometimes perfect, not sometimes okay, always perfect. So, be encouraged. 
keep the faith continue to pray and seek his will and just know that he hears you he really does hear you he is listening and he is working things out for your good your good so I just wanted to share that I just it's amazing to me how God will just at different times just give you exactly what you need when you need it you know and I didn't even know I needed that today, but I needed that reminder that I'm living with answered prayers that I prayed years ago right now. So, all right, we're back home and um, I'm just probably going to go home and just cry my eyes out and just soak up all this that I'm feeling from the Lord. I just, his love just overwhelms me sometimes that the only way I can deal with it is just cry because and it's happy tears it's just such an overwhelming emotion it's just his love just overwhelms me sometimes so that's where I'm at <laughs> all right y'all this is what my life has come to James has come in he's taken over the TV I can no longer watch Hallmark Christmas movies or Christmas anything because you know what it's like living with Scrooge <laughs> Are you laughing because you're Scrooge? Jay? Whoa. So now he's into, he goes from thing to thing. I never know, but now he's into, what is that you're watching, James? Motocross. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a night. Sorry it's been a blah day, but this is life sometimes. Hey, y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.